I'm just gonna sit back and just drag bottom. It's really hot out here. Water temps is like, not, not water temps, I'm sorry. Out here it's like 90, 90, 91 degrees out. Probably the water temps is probably around uh, 89 degrees maybe. 87, 88 maybe. You gotta try new things in life. That's what they say. It's a bike. I got him. Ah, it's a good one too. You gotta try new things in life, y'all. Just remember that I probably mumbled when I was saying that. Oh, that's a nice one. Really, that's a good one, y'all. That's on camera. I just... Yo, look at that fish fight in the water. Bro. Bro, let me get that. Let me get this fish hole. Okay, guys, I had to I had to answer that phone call really quickly. That's my uh, my buddy here, but uh, this is a nice little chunker out right here. If you can see, probably solid, maybe two, two and a quarter, two and a half, maybe. But a uh, nice little largey right there. Let's get the release on it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice little largey right there. And that's on the uh, brush hog, like I said. It ain't my real big confidence bait, but I was wanting to go as a some with a lot of action onto it. If y'all can see the little tails and stuff, it's, when you move it into the water, they'll just kick 100 miles an hour and stuff. But uh, well, I think my confidence confidence just built up on this bait. Really, guess I'll fish a little bit longer. <laughs> and like I said, I'm just using a simple Texas rig with the straight shank cook with. Uh, Tungsten white. So I can see that. Got her rigged up again. Gonna cast her back out there. There's like a little grass line right back over there. I'm just casting over onto and just working my bait bag slow. And this is gonna be my first video that I finally got the hook set onto. Usually here I just hook onto the fish and turn the camera on and stuff, but uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm in the thick of it now, but I'm just gonna work it out of that thick stuff, that jungle down through there. Usually when I get get, get down into the thick stuff, I'll just grab my rod like this and just pop it out and it seems to get the trick off. Seems to get the trick done. I forgot to put my microphone in so if the audio is trash, so I'll apologize. I left my, my camera bag back at home with my microphone adapter and stuff. But, uh, 
that bait wasn't down there for probably about a 30 seconds and he hit it. He cranked the drag up. I just don't want to lose that fish. Trying to drag that bait one bottle. I'm just basically trying to fill that bottle. That's with any kind of Texas rig. Sometimes I might just put a little dance move behind it, but I'll just mostly drag it or dance it. it depends on what kind of conditions I'm fishing. It depends how the fish wants to react to that bait. See right now, if you see right now, if it's real hot out, you got to work for that fish. I'll just barely just jig it a little bit and stop, work it, put a little action onto it. I'm just dragging it onto the bottom and popping out of that grass. Uh, I had to switch sides on this bait. Quick tip, using any kind of plastic, if one side of it gets kind of run, just switch the side over and rig it like you would do it the other side. Rig it like that you would do, rig the other side basically what I'm trying to say. I bought, I bought a few bit of baits with me today. Got some, got some brush hogs. Got some Guggen baits. Got some Yamamoto's. But let's keep on throwing this little brush hog out. See if I can get a bit on that here again. And if y'all don't know how to tie a Texas rig, y'all can go back and watch my older video on how to tie a Texas rig. And it's, it's only like seven minutes long, I believe. And uh, I'll show y'all how to rig a Texas rig and a weightless rig and stuff. And talk, you know, I talk about the hooks, the right hooks to use and not to use and stuff. But uh, it's a pretty cool video and stuff. Just go check that out here and get some likes on that for me, y'all. I appreciate that. Oh, I want to put these poles up here for probably about a uh, 40 to 50 minutes. I'm going to go inside, eat, drink me some ice cold sweet tea, and uh, give it about an hour, and then come back out here and try to get us a few more bass. And then uh, I'll call it a night. Because right now, it's uh, I believe it's like 5 o'clock already. 5.15. But uh, I'm gonna put these poles up here and put a little tackle bag up here. And uh, once I get some of these, stay tuned. And make sure to stay safe, y'all. Now, let's see if we can go catch my bass that I was wanting to earlier here on the drop shot. Now, uh, uh, it's still hot out, it really is. But uh, we're gonna try it, we are. So, uh, stay tuned. I just can't talk right now. I'm so full, bloated feeling. It feel like they just killed me in there, literally. Just bringing me a plate of food out and stuff. I, I ate it and stuff, and my stomach's so bloated. It was really good food it was, but I'm just so full right now. I don't know if I can fish now, but I don't want to say, I don't want to say them words no more, but I really am bloated. Their food's really good here at the boat house. Well, uh, this thing's going. Well, we don't need the bait bag, so it's just gonna go toss in the truck. Hey y'all, we're hooked up here. I was on that telephone. We got hooked up on the drop shot. Couldn't get that set on video. Come on, come out of that grass. I don't know how big it is. Come on, is it still on there? Oh yeah, it is. 
Let's go. Yeah. Ah, I was on that phone right there. It kind of messed me up. Come on. Well, I took my robot warm off. But, uh, nice little chunker right there. It's a little dink, but I'll take it. Right now, that's my second fish for the day for me on the drop shot. Using a little robo worm. That phone, <laughs> I didn't answer that phone. That was my buddy. And I just slammed that phone down. Hey, give me a second. He was still on the phone. I had to hang up on him, though. Nice little chunker. I gotta call him back. Let's get the release on this, y'all. Same spot where we caught the first bass at. Go on. Go on be a 10 pounder. Well, y'all, we just got done from finishing up from fishing and stuff. Uh, the fishing was pretty good. I caught two bass and uh, caught that on a Texas rigged uh, brush hog. And my second bass came onto a uh, drop shot with a straight tail worm. But uh, I'm going to call it a night and uh, get back home, rest up, and edit this video out. But anyhow, y'all go and uh, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, tune in for some videos uh, twice a week. I'm going to start uploading. But uh, stay tuned, y'all. Thanks.